In this video, we're going to show you how to replace the rear door lock actuator on your Dodge Ram, located right here in the back door. Using a T30 Torx bit and our extension, we're going to go ahead and remove the bolt holding the handle in place here. Remove that bolt and the handle, and we'll set that aside. Using a Phillips head screwdriver, remove this screw in the center of the panel. To remove the door panel, we simply want to grab here and lift upward. Slide this up and off the door lock post right here. Behind the power window switch, you're gonna find the harness right here. On the top, press down on the little tab. Pop that off, you can remove that door panel. Let's go ahead and press down on this retaining clip and pop the rod out. Use a 10 millimeter socket, loosen and remove these two nuts. Remove the handle actuator. Now the water shield was held on by an adhesive around the perimeter all the way around. You can try and gently pull on this here. It doesn't want to come off. You can go ahead and use a razor blade. And I'm going to start up in the upper corner here. And I'm just going to gently slice away at the adhesive. Now this is super sticky and it is reusable. So you want to try and be careful not to cut the plastic itself. Now at this point here, you don't have to remove this entire unit to do what we're gonna do over here. You can just tuck this over here. You can use some tape or just use some of this adhesive. Just kind of roll it over and stick it to the door jam over here. Just kind of keep this out of the way. To access here, use your plastic trim tool. Come on underneath. Pop this out. We need to go in through the door shell here and remove the glass guide that runs up and down. Use our 10 millimeter socket, just loosen this bolt up top. On the side here, we need to go ahead and remove this Torx bolt right here. Using a T30 Torx bit, loosen and remove this. Gonna set that aside. I'm gonna go ahead and lift up on that guide and you're gonna slide this bolt up and out like so. Just pull this right out of the door. This is a glass guide channel right here. Set that aside. Now from accessing inside through here, I put a piece of tape right up and over the edge here to keep your arm from getting all scratched up. So go ahead and throw that on there if you want to. Now on the inside of the latch, there are three rods and there is three clips. We're gonna use this tool right here with this notch in it. And this comes in handy when we wanna go ahead and pop these clips off. You can reach in there by hand and try and pop them off, but sometimes they're a little complicated. So pop. Pop that off like that. And if you can get to this last one over here, use the mini version of the larger tool there. Let's go ahead and work that rod out. Set this aside. As far as those other rods go, we can go ahead, reach in there and pop those out. With all three of the rods removed, let's go to the outside and remove the bolts securing the latch in place. Using a T30 Torx bit, we want to go ahead and loosen and remove these three units right here. Now 
you know, when you remove this here, chances are that latch will probably fall down inside the door. All right, with your hand up inside, go ahead and just slide those rods off. Just get them out of the way. With those rods disconnected and you have that actuator in hand, you have this electrical connector. There's a little tab right here. You want to press in and pull that connector off. You might be able to access this a little bit better through the window and the door shell. Right here is that connector. Just going to push down on this tab. Wiggle that free. You can take that new unit, grab that connector, line that up, press it on. You can hear it and feel it snap into place. Let's go ahead and feed that down back inside the door. With this up in position, let's go ahead and get the three screws started on the outside, holding the actuator in place. So what we're gonna do is just get these started here. We can go ahead and snug those down. Once you feel that bottom out, go a good quarter turn. You wanna make sure that's good and snug in that door. Check the operation of that child safety lock. That's good. Now on the inside here, I wanna go ahead and get these rods attached. I'm gonna go ahead and get this one pushed in. Flip this clip up and over, snap that on. Do the same for this one here. Let's go ahead and feed this rod back in. So this is the way it needs to go in. It goes into the door shell, out through the hole. All right, wiggle that in. Now we'll go ahead and bring that red clip down, snap it into place. I want to go ahead and install our glass run channel right here. You know, the upper bolt itself is going to go right through this hole here in the door panel. So I'm going to feed the unit up. Pop that in. On the bottom side, we need to go ahead and get our Torx bit or Torx screw. All right here. Now let's go ahead and tighten this down. Once that bottom's out, give it a good quarter turn. Make sure that's nice and tight. On the top bolt, use your 10 millimeter socket to tighten that down. Go ahead and remove the tape off of our water shield if you're using that. Let me go ahead and fold this over. I want to make sure that we can get the actuator rod through. Line up our water shield and go ahead and press that back into place. Now, for any reason, if your adhesive is no longer working, you can simply use some heavy duty tape, run around the perimeter and seal that up.
Once that's all lined up, go ahead and get your door handle component here installed. Get those 10 millimeter nuts put on. Tighten those down. Grab that actuator rod. And put the clip on. On the upper left here, don't forget to install the, the plug. Simply line that up and press it in. Now installing the door panel, you have a series of these tabs here all the way around the perimeter. So we're gonna press the door panel on and slide it down and lock it into place. Let's go ahead and get our power window switch harness connected first. Snap it in. Let's lift up our door panel. Make sure you get your door lock button, push through the trim bezel up top. What you want to do is run your fingers around the edge, make sure that the door panel is sealed and tight all the way around, like ours is. And go ahead and install the screw in the center of the door panel. Tighten down that screw. Let's go ahead and install our handle. I'm gonna get my Torx bit and extension lined up on there first. Line that up on the bracket. I'm gonna start threading that in by hand. And let's go ahead and tighten that down. Snug that into place. Go ahead and give that a test. You're all set. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.